Hi, in this video series I'm going to show you how you build your own quadcopter and what you need in order to do that. First, I decided to take the uh, Talon quadcopter on two frame. Uh, this is a basic frame, um, it's easy to build and uh, it's quite cheap compared to what's out there on the market and of course it's light. I ordered it at Hobby King and um, it took about 14 days to get to Germany. The next thing you need are your speed controllers and I decided to take the plush 25 amps uh, speed controllers. Um, I ordered five, one spare. You need four for a quadcopter and um, these power your, your individual motors and in order to program these so they don't cut off the voltage in, um, when the voltage gets low and you, you just crash it uh, you need a, a programming card and this one is especially for the uh, Turnergy Plus controllers then you need your motors themselves um, you need four of course and um, I recommend ordering uh, spare motors as well. These are NTM 2826 1200 kV motors. I'll show you this one and later in the series I'm going to show you how to install them on the frame. Okay, pretty basic, pretty small. Yeah, it says 1200 kV on here. And they do fit the frame, so this is um, pretty important. They fit the housing um, and you just can screw them on them. Um, what you have to order separately with these motors are these. Uh, yeah, these prop adapters and you have to screw the ad adapter on onto your motor and then you can fix it onto the frame because these these here ship without any connection so you order four of these I'll put them right here and of course you need um, some connectors to get your uh, KK board or whatever you're using. I'm going to use a KK 2.0 board uh, to your receiver and of course your receiver is bound to any of your favorite transmitters. I'm going to use this MX12 it's a JR or Kropner uh, transmitter and I converted this to 2.4 gigahertz using the Fry Sky system and of course to power all these you need a battery and I've got two I'm not sure what to use right now um, I'm going to figure it out uh, first of all there's the uh, 3S 2200 milliamps uh, Trinity LiPo uh, a th 3 cell LiPo uh, with a high discharge rate of uh, 40 to 50 C which is important because you're going, going to draw a lot of amps uh, using four motors at the same time and if you need some more power I've got the SIPI uh, 1800 uh, 4S LiPo using a 40C rating as well so a high discharge rate and this is going to give me a lot of more thrust uh, than the Turnkey 3S set up um, using the same prop size and talking about props I'm using these you need left hand orientation and right hand orientation props and these are uh, Turnkey slow fly flyer props um, 8 times 4.5 and of course I've got green and black which is going to help me with the orientation of my quadcopter in the air Um, one thing you want to notice is um, I've got some spare bars for the quadcopter and uh, this quadcopter I'm going to show you later in the build 
has two different arm size so um, you have to decide whether you want to have a, a smaller quadcopter or a wider quadcopter in general uh, the wider the quadcopter the more stable it is so probably I'm going to use the wider bars uh, for the beginning and we'll see um, last thing I want to mention is of course I said it already um, order spare parts as well so you don't have to reorder and wait a whole month and sometimes uh, the items are on back order and second um, do order all you need to uh, solder these together and connect them to the board so what I ordered are uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, golden connectors for the plush Turnigy uh, ESCs to connect to the motors as you can see the NTM motors have the golden connectors uh, 3.5 millimeters already on them and I just need to uh, solder the female bullet connectors to the ESC board as well as make a connection from the power lines which I'm going to show you in a second and I have to make the connection from the power lines uh, positive and negative uh, to the battery Okay, this is part one next I'm going to show you how to build the basic frame and thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe.